not global the workouts or studio classes. Along with a one-year iFit membership, you're all getting the Nordic Track treadmill, you guys. <laughs> TV4 Island News tonight. Waipahu High School on lockdown today. All we hear is the announcement saying that there was an active shooter on and there was a lockdown. Was there really an active shooter and was it the only school affected? Yesterday's officer involved shooting near Pearl Ridge. The suspect's been arrested. Local businesses have under three weeks to comply with new plastic bag laws. We gotta learn to, you know, live with the small inconvenience. And the surf keeps getting bigger along the North Shore. Now, from Honolulu, for all of Hawaii, this is KITV4 Island News. A manhunt for robbery suspects in Waipahu today put two local schools on lockdown. Good evening, I'm Mika Miyashima. And I'm Tom George. And for Brent and Awa tonight, all four of those suspects were arrested. And KITV4's TJ Horgan joins us live in the newsroom with the breakdown. TJ, what happened? Tom, Mika, the chaos began in Mokulaia. Two armed, masked males attempted to steal a car around 9.30 this morning. The driver confronted the men. One suspect brandished a handgun, but before police could catch them, the suspects took off in a Nissan Altima they allegedly stole earlier this week. They ditched that car in Waipahu around 10.30 and fled on foot with one handgun. Plain clothes officers flooded the area. They, they set up a perimeter and they were able to do an extensive search and they located the two males who had fled the vehicle. The police arrested two women found inside the abandoned car for unauthorized entry to a vehicle. In total, four were arrested, the two men for robbery. Major Ozeki does tell us he anticipates more charges coming as they continue investigating. Now, coming up at 6, Waipahu High School locked down for an active shooter false alarm. For now, live in the newsroom, TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, TJ. Now to a KITV4 update. A man wanted in connection to a police-involved shooting in Pearl City is arrested. 23-year-old Troy Salas now faces possible attempted murder charges. According to HPD, when police tried to pull him over, Salas drove towards an officer, nearly hitting him. The officer then fired his gun at Salas's car, which police later found near Pearl Ridge Center. Salas was located and arrested last night. KITV4 also found that the suspect has been cited for at least 46 traffic violations within the last three years. He has yet to be charged for this incident, but is expected in court next week. All right, well, it's that time of year. A big swell pushing in some gnarly surf to parts of the state. The National Weather Service says waves on the north-facing shores could reach 35 feet. West-facing shores looking at surf up to 25 feet high. Sunset Beach has some pretty stormy conditions this morning. The waves washed up onto the sidewalk, pushing sand and water onto Kamehameha Highway. And over at Waimea Bay, surfers were out and the waves were big, but not enough for the eddy. Eddie Aikau's brother, though, Clyde, paddled out, hoping to ride a few waves in honor of his late brother. It looks like the best conditions in 30 years. Oh, yeah. Offshore wind, 15 to 18 feet. We got some 20 footers, not big enough for the eddy, but hey, we're gonna catch a couple for eddy for sure. Hey, as long as you can grab a few in there, the holding period for the eddy runs through the end of February. And the high surf for north and west facing shores in effect until tomorrow morning at six o'clock. 
And you're taking a live look at Backdoor right now. KT before his meteorologist Pete Caggiano, he's got to look at our forecast tonight. Pete is going to is going to reach the eddy. Uh, no, not eddy level. It's kind of coming down a bit. But as you, you said, that was a high praise from Clyde there. And we had some very large waves earlier today. The swell coming down a bit. We'll have to wait until later on the year to see if we get a swell eddy size. But still some very big waves. North Shore tonight coming down to 20 to 28. So we had waves up to 35 in some locations. West Shore is coming in at 14 to 20. We have high surf warnings in effect until 6 a.m. Advisories for the Kona Coast. Waves lower there, but still pretty big for the Kona Coast there at 5 to 8 feet. So we're watching the swell, and we watch our buoys to see what's heading our way. And they've been consistently large throughout the day. So waves should stay pretty big as we head into the evening. Then we'll expect those waves to come down a bit as we head into tomorrow. Had a number of reports of water over the road there. Kamehameha Highway. This is uh, Puhukea there area. Sun, uh, Sunset Beach area. We had, again, some sand on the Kamehameha Highway, and we'll continue to watch the potential for some run-up as we have another high tide right around 5 a.m. in the morning. So there is still potential for some kind of run-up there. We'll be watching a frontal boundary that's moving in this front, bring some clouds and potentially some scattered showers. So we're going to talk about the surf and the higher rain chances as we head towards our Aloha Friday. Tom and Mika will have that coming up a little later. All right, thanks, Pete. And folks on Kauai are urged not to swim or snorkel on the north facing shores. Ocean safety warns that high surf can make for dangerous water conditions. And lifeguards are reporting waves of up to 25 feet out on the north shore along with strong rip currents. There's also a high surf warning for north and west facing shores for Kauai and Niihau until 6 tomorrow morning. Warnings and advisories are posted. And keeping with this theme, sensing a pattern, also high surf wreaking havoc on two Maui beaches. Those were along Hana Highway. County officials closed Baldwin Beach Park today because of flooding. Officials will take another look tomorrow to figure out if it should stay closed. Now that uh, flooding also forced the closure of Ho'okipa Beach Park's parking lot. So that area will be closed, but the rest of the beach park will remain open. The city welcomes Honolulu seniors into a new housing complex. It's called Kumuvai Residences. Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell unveiled it this afternoon. It features 30 studio units for poor or chronically homeless kupuna, or those at risk of becoming homeless. Each unit comes with its own kitchen and a bathroom, and Caldwell says the building was named Kumuvai, meaning source of water. Which means source of water. It was named by Mr. Kalei, our director of the Mayor's Office of Culture and the Arts. And we all know how healing water can be. And we know what it means to the Native Hawaiians. And it is appropriate to name this place that name. The city and county of Honolulu, along with the city council, bought the land and building for $6.4 million and spent an additional $4.8 million to turn it into housing. Well, do you speak more than one language? If so, the Hawaii State Judiciary wants you to apply as a court interpreter. It's looking for people who speak English plus another language. Two-day workshops will take place early next year. That'll be on Maui, Kauai, Oahu, and the Big Island. Freelance court interpreters are paid a minimum of $25 an hour. The deadline to register is January 31st. And for more information, you can visit our website at kitv.com. Well, tonight, all lanes of Liliha Street will stay closed as crews work to fix a 12-inch water main break. Now, this is right between Judd Street and Liliha Place. At last check, seven homes there are still without water. A water wagon is set up for affected customers. That's going to be at 2053 Liliha Street. For right now, drivers are being diverted onto Bates Street and are asked to use alternate routes. And in Nu'uanu, crews are still working to fix an 8-inch water main breakout there. All the lanes of Dowsett Avenue between Alika Avenue and Lopeka Place are closed. At least 18 homes there without water. A water wagon will be set up at Dowsett Avenue and Lopeka Place for all those affected. Commuters there urged to drive with caution in that area. As impeachment moves closer towards a final vote, Hawaii's delegation is weighing in. Still ahead, why some local Democrats argue our members of Congress haven't been forceful enough in supporting impeachment. Plus, House Democrats pass a drug pricing bill today. How that could affect our future medication prices coming up. We'll be right back. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. 
Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. Kimo, our wedding day was so special. <laughs> yeah. It's our first time here. It's that thin and white. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you have the, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would make me crackers. Oh, yeah, I have a box in here. Ring in the holidays this year with all your favorites from Diamond Bakery. Diamond Bakery, perfect for all of life's special moments. Everyone has a family, but no two families are quite alike. At HMSA, we understand that and why you want health care coverage that works for you. So we make sure you can see the doctors and specialists you choose convenient to home, work, and school. That you have urgent care when you need it and coverage when you travel. HMSA will be there for your family, for your health and well-being, for life. To learn more, visit HMSA.com. Tony Group is counting down to Christmas with great deals and incredible prices. Visit the Tony Group Autoplex now through December 24th and get great year-end deals on over 750 new Hondas, 450 new Nissans, 100 new Volkswagens, 150 new Hyundais, and over 300 used cars. Enter to win a $500 Ala Moana Center shopping spree during the Countdown to Christmas sales event now through December 24th at the Tony Group Autoplex in YPO. Island Style, where we are honored to tell your story every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. And we are honored to partner with Ward Village and all the locally owned businesses that make Ward Village their home for live, work, and play. That's every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. right here on KI TV. You're watching KI TV 4 Island News. Welcome back. Businesses on Oahu have until the end of the month to switch from using heavy plastic or non-compostable bags. Yeah, we've been hearing a lot about this one over the years. It's all part of the plastic bag ban that was passed by the Honolulu City Council back in 2015. It gave several uh, gave businesses several years to make that switch, but now the deadline coming up. KTV4 is Eddie Dowd outside at Safeway on Baratania Street with more on that change. So what can we be seeing, Eddie? Tom, Mika, this is what shoppers here at Safeway were able to purchase just about a month ago, a plastic bag. Now, this is what has been replaced, a paper bag. Now, some shoppers we talked to say they don't even purchase these bags anymore. They come and bring their own bags ever since the new law was passed. Now, the Retail Merchants of Hawaii, an industry group for retailers, says some of its members have waited until they got rid of their plastic bag inventory. One jewelry business owner we talked with says he made the switch over two years ago. Cultures change, customs change, and the law changes. So if it's uh, something that's being changed, and I believe it's for the better. I mean, we got to learn to, you know, live with the small inconvenience and, and work with the change. The city tells me they will begin to check businesses on Janu January 1st when the ordinance takes effect. The fine will be between $100 to $1,000 for each day of violation. Now, coming up at 6, we'll talk to some shoppers about what they think about the change. Reporting live, Eddie Dowds, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Eddie. We're turning now to Washington, where lawmakers in the House Judiciary are in a marathon session to consider impeachment against President Donald Trump. ABC's Rachel Scott is on Capitol Hill with more. Committee will come to order. The battle over impeachment triggering a blistering debate. Our Republican colleagues are working overtime to try to convince us that we didn't see what we saw with our own eyes and we didn't hear what we heard with our own ears. This amendment uh, strikes Article 1 because Article 1 ignores the truth. Four facts, five meetings. We've talked about it now for three months. Today's hearing marks the next big step before the House votes on the articles of impeachment against the president. Democrats say the evidence is clear. Trump committed high crimes and misdemeanors, charging the president with abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Is any one of my colleagues willing to say 
that it is ever okay for a president of the United States of America to invite foreign interference in our elections. Not a single one of you has said that so far. Democrats allege the president engaged in a pressure campaign, leveraging military aid for investigation into Joe Biden and his son. Republicans firing back, pushing to fold Hunter Biden into the narrative. He could not resolve his own dispute with Hertz rental car over leaving cocaine in a crack pipe in the car. I would say that uh, the pot calling the kettle black is not something that we should do. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi pushing back against concerns that it will affect moderates in the party ahead of the 2020 election. We are not whipping this legislation, nor do we ever whip something like this. People have to come to their own conclusions. And if the House chooses to impeach President Trump, Republicans in the Senate are not looking to drag this out. They are looking at a possible trial of 10 days to two weeks with no witnesses. Rachel Scott, ABC News, Capitol Hill. And as those impeachment hearings inch closer to a full House vote, one of Hawaii's two House members are, is now weighing in. Democratic Congressman Ed Case says he still needs to look over those two articles of impeachment against the president before he makes a final decision. And in a statement, he says, as of right now, quote, I'm not there yet. This is the most important decision, single decision that I'm ever going to make um, as a uh, elected official, and my duty is to make that decision as fully and deliberatively as I possibly can. Now, Hawaii's other U.S. House member, Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, has also not yet said how she'll vote on those final articles of impeachment. Returning now to your consumer watch, a drug pricing bill passed by House Democrats today would allow the government to negotiate lower prices on prescription drugs each year. Republicans and the drug industry opposed the bill, arguing it would make the private sector less likely to invest in research and development for new treats, treatments and cures. Two Republicans split with the party to support the bill, including Pennsylvania Representative Brian Fitzpatrick. The Republican-led Senate is unlikely to take up that bill. Earlier this week, the White House issued a veto threat for that legislation. Facebook is spending big bucks to create an oversight board. The company will spend $130 million to have an independent body to make decisions on appeals made about content. Facebook has been called to be more accountable for the material that users publish. The money will fund the board for up to six years, and CEO Mark Zuckerberg hopes that the board will provide greater transparency over other social media channels. All right, well, if you're watching, you're about to head out the door. It's that time of day. We want to see how the evening rush hour is going right That's now. That's right. Pete's back with an update on what's happening. <laughs> Yeah, out to the west side, we had an earlier accident uh, near the uh, the merge there, H1 Wanalua Freeway. That has been cleared, but right now, long drive out to the west side coming in at 88 minutes, 41 minutes if you're heading from town to Hawaii Kai and into town. A little slow from the Middle Street merge through downtown. We'll take you out to Maili, and that's where, unfortunately, we do have an accident. So folks heading into the west side, unfortunately, slow going there. So this is right near Maili. Point Beach Park area. We'll take you outside, see what we can find. This is H1 Kunia Road, looking pretty good right now. Again, until you head out into Maili, that's where you're going to start to see a little bit uh, of a slowdown elsewhere. Not looking too bad out there. Coming up, we'll talk more about surf that's on the way. We've got some big surf, and we also have some potential rainfall. Your forecast after the break. Store closing sale at Robert Palma Designs, Hawaii's premier GIA certified fine jeweler. Savings of up to 60% off on engagement rings, wedding bands, loose diamonds, pre-owned luxury watches, rings, bracelets, men's jewelry, and more. Everything must go. We're liquidating our entire inventory at Robert Palma Designs. Just in time for your holiday shopping. Millions of dollars in fine jewelry will be sold at huge savings. Robert Palma Designs, 37th floor in Century Center. Sale starts now. Four two 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 mele 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 suki ma ka mele 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 suki ma ka. Happy holidays from the camp. 
Viaggio Restaurant is located on the corner of Capilani and Ward across from the Blaisdell Center. Welcome to Viaggio. Open Tuesday through Sunday with happy hour from 4 to 6 and dinner from 5 p.m. Join Chef Rodney Uihara for his Italian-inspired cuisine with a special Hawaiian flair. Viaggio uses only the freshest local seafood, farm-to-table vegetables, pasta, steaks, and so much more. Make your next special night at Viaggio Restaurant. Call 592-8881 for reservations. Grazie mille. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. Hello, this is Pastor Bula, and I'll share with you an important faith-based film, The Island. It's based on the incredible true story of a Hawaiian chiefess who found Christ in 1821 and risked her life going to the volcano. People have come out of the screening saying their lives were changed. Others say their faith was restored. As a pastor and leader in a prison ministry, I can tell you that Hawaii needs Christ now more than ever. This movie opens in theaters on December 6th. Hope to see you there. Mahalo ke akua. Wherever you go, KITV4 Island News goes with you. Get updated news, traffic, and weather on your mobile devices at KITV.com or download the KITV News and Weather app now. Sponsored by Hawaii State FCU. Always right by you. We'll take you out to the North Shore. This is Waimea Bay. We had some huge waves just a few minutes ago. We're kind of in between sets here, but you can see those surfers out there. And we're going to be watching large waves, not only tonight, but into tomorrow morning as well. Want to show you some of those waves from earlier, and they were quite large. In fact, Gary Miata sent this picture in. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, at some of the waves in Waimea Bay earlier this morning. Some huge waves rolling in. Clyde Cal was talking about the, the light winds and just the great conditions we saw. Those winds have picked up a bit. You kind of saw it in our, our live cam there. Not looking quite as good as what we had earlier, but huge waves this morning across the North Shore and still pretty big tomorrow, but we'll have our trades. They're going to be a little stronger, so conditions maybe not quite as good. The swell, since it's a big swell, they take a while to fade. It's going to fade, but likely late tomorrow we'll see that swell fade. So tomorrow, waves today in some spots are up to 30 35 face scale tomorrow 16 to 22 on the north shore tomorrow 12 to 16 for the west shore so we have high surf warnings in effect until 6 a.m. after that the National Weather Service will likely issue a high surf advisory so still dangerous conditions for north and west shores and sometimes you, you almost have more rescues when the swell starts to fade because people get a little bit more braver so bottom line is if you're not experienced you want to stay out of the north and west shores east East shores and south shores, probably your best bet if you want some tamer conditions. However, east shores coming up a bit at three to six. Rainfall will hit. Got a couple scattered showers on the west side. Had some rain develop, so we'll continue to watch that on the Waianae side as we head out into windward locations. Not as much rainfall, but a couple scattered showers offshore could impact you in windward spots later this evening. On the west side of Kauai, has some scattered rain lifting offshore, but most of Kauai looking dry. And then Maui County, not a whole lot of rain. The, uh, uh, the West Maui Mountains got a few light areas of rain. We've got some indication of some scattered light activity near Ho'olehua, so heads up on to Molokai. And then as we head over towards the Big Island, dry for now, but some rain offshore. This is moving your way. I think your rain chances will pick up and that's kind of the story all over we're not expecting a washout on friday but a better chance of rain so for tonight a few hit and miss rain showers tomorrow a front stalls to our west but some of the moisture makes it here so we're going to call for some hit and miss scattered showers certainly a lot more cloud cover it'll be cloudy skies a few hit and miss scattered showers and the trades return so kind of a mixed bag we won't have it won't be dry completely we'll have a few hit and miss showers but we'll also have those trades becoming a little breezier and as a result temperatures not as cool tonight 72 degrees again still a chance of a hit and miss shower for tomorrow 84 skies are going to be cloudy and we'll have our trades increasing and we're going to kind of keep those clouds around uh, for Friday and early on Saturday. Late Saturday, we start to clear things out. Sunday, probably the best day of the weekend. Saturday's not bad, maybe a hit and miss shower, nothing big, but Sunday looks much more drier and much more sunnier if you're looking for sunshine. Coming up, we're gonna talk about your island by island forecast, and we'll have more looks at that big surf on the North Shore. We'll have that at six o'clock, you're watching KT4, Island News at five. 
KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Hawaii Honda Dealers. Days is on now. Unwrap the joy of a new HRV, complete with second row magic seat. That's all right. I can't believe it. This Sophie opened up a wormhole through time. What the what? And Papa, no! No, I can't believe how easy it was to save hundreds of dollars on my car insurance with GEICO. Believe it. GEICO could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Ernest Hemingway wrote The Old Man in the Sea at 52. Satchel Paige was still dominating batters at 59. Celia Cruz was still winning Grammys at 77. John Wheeler illuminated our ideas of the universe at 70. And Roger Crouch was 56 when he first went into space. Your best is yet to come. From beloved family, neighbors, and friends, to celebrated musicians, honored veterans, and first responders. From the beautiful Ko'olau Mountains to Kaneohe Bay, this is a place where memories, like the views, go on forever. Hawaiian Memorial Park, cemetery and funeral services. There's a special moment when everything falls into place just so. That's the feeling you experience with each piece of Hawaiian Host original chocolate-covered macadamias. This holiday season, share that perfect moment with your loved ones and Hawaiian Host. This segment of KITV4 Island News is sponsored by Hawaiian Host. Welcome back. The end of 2019 is just weeks away. Can you believe it? And New York City already getting ready for the countdown. The numbers that will light up when the famous ball touches down arrived in Times Square earlier this week. One million people are expected to gather in the Big Apple to watch it happen live, and millions more will watch the iconic ball drop on live TV. It's one of the biggest New Year's Eve celebrations across the U.S. It's wild. Always Ernie, a big yeah. moment. Yeah, going to be a new decade, too. That's yeah. so crazy to think about. Seeing that 20, it's kind of <laughs> takes some used to, getting used to. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, the Dream Weekend just got a little dreamier. Today, the uh, annual music festival announcing it's adding R&B superstar Usher to the lineup. That's a big get there. The, this will be the a musician's first time performing here in Hawaii. He'll be co-headlining with Marshmello to close out 2019. Also performing Migos and rapper Ice Cube. It's all happening on December 28th. Tickets on sale at Ticketmaster.com. A lot of people excited for that lineup. Yeah, it's almost like the Ninth Island's coming here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, sentencing today for a deadly hit and run in 2018. Coming up on KTV4 Island News, he not only killed a 76-year-old man, he didn't even stop to help. So just how many year, years behind bars for Jeremy Lee? Plus, on Maui, the Jaws Big Wave Championship on today. Monster waves and wipeouts and back-to-back -back winds in waters off Maui. We've got those stories and much more coming up tonight on KITV4 Island News at 6. And sticking with the surf, Pete, you've got a last check of weather and surf. Yeah, you're going to want to tune in for that because it was huge at Jaws Day. Some incredible waves out there. Waves are coming down a bit, but still looking pretty big. We have those high surf warnings in effect. So overnight tonight, 20 to 28 footers for the North Shore. West Shore coming in at 14 to 20. Again, a high surf warning effect until 6 a.m. At 6 a.m.
a.m., the National Weather Service will change that likely to an advisory as surf drops a bit, but still pretty big. Kona Coast, five to eight, which doesn't sound as big comparatively, but for the Kona Coast, that is certainly uh, some large waves for you as well. High surf advisory for you. Now, as we move into our Friday, expect more cloud cover. We're going to have some hit and miss rain potentially, and that could linger into early Saturday. Should clear out by late Saturday and into Sunday. We're going to, of course, talk much more about that forecast coming up. We're going to go island by island at six o'clock. If you're not a professional, just enjoy it from the shore. Yes, yeah, yeah. watching from the safety of the watch. shore. All right, that's your five o'clock news for this Thursday, December 12th. We'll see you back here tonight at six. Take care. See you then. Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. Holiday shopping just got easier. With the one gift that always fits. Never the wrong color, never out of style. Give hand in goodness with our classic cookies. Or our exclusive holiday flavors. Perfect for family, friends, or work. Welcome to the You Nailed It gift. Give Aloha from Honolulu Cookie Company. It's the Miller Lite Tastes All Right Pauhana Series. Welcome to Chingu, LA's K Town, right here in Honolulu. Enjoy Pauhana the right way with our amazing food, unbeatable drink specials, and your besties. So what more could a girl ask for? And did we mention the food? Our Korean influenced dishes are surely going to satisfy these cravings chicken and cheese, LA street tacos, and Oxtail Kalani Gym, just to name a few. Welcome to Chingu, where everyone is a friend. Open daily from 5 to 2 a.m. on Kapiolani Boulevard. Check it out on kitv.com slash Pauhana. I need a bite of something. Sarah. Grilled cheese pizza. Look how big this thing is. Wow. Cheeseburger pizza. Literally bigger than my head. Are you kidding me? Fried Oreo pizza. Oh, my God. Gut-busting foods you have to see to believe. Plus, reality chef Aron Sanchez opens up about overcoming his tragic past. He started doing drugs. And I felt that um, this was the only way to escape. All new Oz. Dr. Oz, weekdays on KITV. Tonight, Christmas is coming. The countdown is on. The House nearly set for the historic vote. I would be totally surprised if there were 67 senators to remove the president. With stakes this high, World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast. Good evening, I'm Nika Miyashima. On KITV for Island News at 6 tonight on Maui, the Jaws Big Wave Championship on today. Monster waves and wipeouts and a back-to-back -back winner in waters off Maui. Join us at 6. Davey D, good morning traffic reports on Good Morning Hawaii. Tonight, breaking news from the Hill right now, the fiery debate. The House Judiciary Committee set to vote on two articles of impeachment against President Trump this evening setting up a full House vote next. Tonight, Republicans in the House united, some Democrats wavering. Mary Bruce asking, why are you undecided? And tonight, the response. The horrific murder here in New York City, the young college student walking through a city park. Authorities say she was attacked and died after she staggered up these stairs for help. But authorities have now revealed tonight a new turn in the deadly attack outside New York City. Authorities now calling it domestic terrorism. And the question, was this an isolated incident? And new tonight, why authorities are now asking for the public's help. The dangerous and delicate mission underway tonight. Teams recovering bodies after that deadly volcano eruption. Scientists concerned there could still be activity. And the two brothers from Chicago who did not survive. Their parents tonight still missing. Ten former NFL players, some of them prominent names, charged tonight. Accused of scamming a health care plan for nearly $4 million. What the players allegedly said they were buying but never did. The breaking headline out of the UK as we come on tonight, the future of Prime Minister Boris Johnson in Brexit. What early numbers show tonight. How secure is your home surveillance? This evening, more cameras allegedly hacked. This child suddenly hearing a stranger's voice. I'm your best friend. I'm Santa Claus. The company's response just in. Your money, last minute shopping, and are you leaving free cash at the counter? Some very easy tips tonight to get cash back. And Made in America is back tonight. Your one thing for Christmas. We want your ideas tonight. This is ABC World News Tonight with David Muir.
Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Thursday night. And we begin tonight with the fiery last stand in the House Judiciary Committee before the first official vote on impeaching President Trump. The House Judiciary Committee in a marathon debate on the two articles brought against the president, their vote tonight. A partisan divide over the charges, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. Democrats claiming the president violated his oath of office. Republicans say there is no crime. Tonight, Republicans are united in the House against impeachment. But some Democrats, we've learned, are wavering. ABC's Mary Bruce leads us off tonight from the Hill. After months of investigations and weeks of hearings, tonight on Capitol Hill, a marathon final push. This is a constitutional crime spree. That's why courage is so badly needed right here, right now. Our national security and democracy are depending on it. Democrats argue President Trump abused his office to gain an advantage in the 2020 election. And they say he'll do it again. We have an ongoing crime. We have a crime in progress. We have an emergency to our national election going on right now. Republicans insist Democrats are putting politics above principle. Don't give me the solemnity about impeaching a president. You've been wanting to do that for a long time. It's not just an attack on the presidency. It's an attack on us. It's an attack on those of us who believe in this president. Tonight's vote in the Judiciary Committee, the last legislative hurdle before the House fail. votes to impeach. Republicans a with a warning. This impeachment's going to fail. The Democrats will pay a heavy political price for it. And several moderate Democrats in swing districts are skittish. Some opposed, others on the fence. Can you explain your current thinking? Why undecided right now? Because I made a commitment to my district uh, from the, the moment that this began that I'm going to focus on all the facts. Today, we asked Speaker Pelosi. What is your message to those moderate Democrats who are undecided and who are concerned that a vote for impeachment could backfire on them politically? I have no message to them. As people have to come to their own conclusions. Mayor Bruce live on the Hill tonight. And Mary, the full House is expected to vote to impeach President Trump next week after this vote that will play out this evening. And tonight, you're reporting that detention has already turned to the Senate trial expected in January. White House lawyers uh, meeting with Republican Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to try to map that out already. And David, that meeting today was in part a negotiation. The president has said he wants an aggressive defense in the Senate, including live witnesses like Hunter Biden and the whistleblower. But Senate Republicans tell us they don't want any witnesses at all. They want a speedy trial and to move on. Now, tonight, we are told the president is warming to that idea, but he is not 100 percent on board yet. David. Mary Bruce leading us off again tonight. Mary, thank you. And the other major story unfolding tonight, and it's horrific. The brutal murder of a college student here in New York City. Tessa Majors, just 18 years old, in her first year at Barnard, stabbed in a city park. She then died after staggering to the top of this staircase to get help. Tonight, what police have found in ABC's Ariel Reshef is on the scene for us. Tonight, New York City police investigating the savage killing of Barnard College freshman Tessa Majors. The idea that a college freshman at Barnard was murdered in cold blood is absolutely not only painful to me as a parent, it's terrifying to think that that could happen anywhere. Around 7 o'clock Wednesday evening, police say the 18-year-old from Virginia was walking through a park in a residential area just one block from Columbia University when she was attacked. There's going to be an 80 female white stag at this time. Authorities say one to three suspects demanded money before brutally stabbing Major several times. You're going to steal their lights, start circling the park. The perpetrator may still be in the park. Majors managing to stagger up a steep flight of stairs to a guard station. The guard calling 911. The student rushed to the hospital but did not survive. Police finding the young victim's uncharged cell phone and a knife near the scene. Several juveniles detained for questioning as police dive teams search a pond in the park for evidence. It really could have been like any one of us. Tonight, the campus community in mourning and on alert. I think it just like shook us all to our core. Major's family telling ABC News, tests shown bright in this world and our hearts will never be the same. Just an awful story tonight. And Ariel joins us live from the scene. And Ariel, police are now combing through security video and the cameras there near the park trying to find any kind of clues. That's right, David. There are several security cameras here in this area, including the ones right above that guard station behind us that you can see that may prove crucial to this investigation. In the meantime, the Barnard community is coming together tonight to grieve the loss of Tessa, and the NYPD has stepped up patrols in this area.
David. Let's hope those cameras captured something aerial. Thank you. And now to that deadly gun battle just outside New York City. Authorities are now calling the attack tonight an act of domestic terrorism. And just a short time ago, a plea. They now need the public's help. Surveillance shows the two suspects approaching the kosher market, firing their weapons as they grew near in Jersey City. Was this isolated and why authorities need that help now? ABC's Adrian Bankard on the scene again tonight. Newly obtained video shows the suspects entering that market in what the FBI is now calling a hate crime and an act of domestic terror. We believe that the suspects held views that reflected hatred of the Jewish people, as well as a hatred of law enforcement. Authorities say the suspects first killed Detective Joseph Seals, then drove to that kosher market in a stolen van outfitted with bullet-resistant panels armed with five guns, including an AR-15-style rifle and a shotgun. They killed three people. David Lax hit the floor when the bullets started flying. They came to kill, and they didn't came to spare anyone. And Lax tells us that when he stood up, he was facing one of the shooters. I had the uh, courage, I had the right mind. I just to leave the rest of the arm and ran out of the store. The suspect shooting at him as he is seen here escaping the store, the only one to make it out alive. Overnight, the Jewish community filling the streets to mourn the dead. You need to call out hate aggressively and firmly and immediately. Tonight, there is gratitude for the police who battled the suspects for hours. I can't say enough about those officers. They absolutely saved lives that day. Their bravery captured in this moment. A female officer seen leaving her position of cover to help a wounded fellow officer to safety. Helping her fellow officer there, and Adrian joined us again. And authorities tonight now say they believe these two suspects were, in fact, acting alone. Yes, David, that's right. Acting alone, officials say that the two uh, were actually expressing interest in the group, the black Israelites, but there's no proof they were ever members, though they did post anti-Semitic and anti-police sentiments online. And now the FBI is asking for the public's help, asking anyone that has photos or video that could help in this investigation to contact them. David. Adrian, thank you. We turn next tonight to the dangerous and delicate mission underway in New Zealand. Teams are now finally making it back to the island after the deadly volcano eruption recovering bodies now. Scientists, of course, monitoring it all amid the risk of yet another eruption. 14 people now confirmed dead, including two brothers originally from Chicago and their parents tonight. They're still missing. ABC's Marcus Moore from New Zealand. Tonight, the daring recovery effort. Searchers retrieving the bodies of six of the eight people missing on New Zealand's White Island. The operation starting early in the morning. That volcano at risk of erupting again, throwing a thick plume of ash and steam into the air. First responders wearing protective gear. People gathering at the pier here to sing as a tribute to the victims. Somber mood here in New Zealand. The family members just went back into the meeting place for the Amadi community here. It's been an agonizing wait since Monday's eruption killed more than a dozen people, including American brothers 13 year old Matthew and 16 year old Baron Hollander, originally from Chicago. Their parents, Martin and Barbara, among the missing and presumed dead. David, we have witnessed an urgent effort here as we've watched helicopters landing at the Fakatani Airport. Many of the people who survived the eruption tonight are still recovering from severe burns. David. All right, Marcus, thank you. And also overseas at this hour, the breaking headline out of the UK tonight, the high stakes election, the future of Brexit, the future of the Prime Minister Boris Johnson, all on the line. Let's get right to our foreign correspondent, James Longman, live in London tonight. And James, you have the early exit polls just in. What do they show? Yeah, David, this was the most anticipated and consequential election in a generation. Millions voting in the hope of ending the Brexit chaos. And with the voting now closed, the exit polls are revealing a huge landslide victory for Conservative Prime Minister and Donald Trump favourite Boris Johnson. A campaign characterised by disinformation, but in the end, the Get Brexit Done slogan seems to have worked. Tonight, it looks like Johnson will remain Prime Minister and work towards pulling the UK out of the EU as he's pledged by January. 31st, but the huge task ahead, negotiating a trade deal. The risk of a no-deal Brexit still very much a possibility. David. Tracking it into the night for us, James Longman, thank you. And next this evening, the former NFL players accused of scamming a health care plan out of millions. Ten players, including some high-profile names, now charged in a scheme to defraud a health care program set up to help their former colleagues, retired NFL players, what they said they were buying but never did. Here's ABC's Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas tonight. 
Former NFL star running back Clinton Portis, who reportedly earned more than $40 million in his career before falling on hard financial times, now accused of health care fraud. Portis, along with nine other former NFL players, including former Pro Bowl cornerback Carlos Rogers, named today in a sweeping indictment charging them with conspiracies to steal money from the NFL's health care program for retirees. More than $3.9 million in phony claims were submitted to the plan. Prosecutors say the former NFL players submitted claims for equipment never actually purchased, ranging from expensive oxygen chambers to ultrasound machines. The FBI will not tolerate stealing money meant for health care, no matter who's involved. Portis' attorney says today's indictment came as a complete shock to him and that he's vowing to fight the charges and clear his name. David? Pierre Thomas with us tonight as well. Thank you, Pierre. We're also tracking a new storm brewing in the Gulf tonight, said to head right up the East Coast, and a second storm in the West. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z. She's with us live tonight, tracking it all for us. Hey, Ginger. Hey, David, we are living in that cold air, and when you take that moisture and roll it up over, you're going to create ice, especially if you are in western North Carolina or Virginia. We've had those winter weather advisories for tonight into early tomorrow morning, but it's a lot of really heavy rain right along the coast. So if you have travel plans from South Carolina through North Carolina through the day tomorrow, you're going to want to watch that. Then into Saturday morning, it's Rhode Island, Connecticut, up to Maine, and certainly eastern Massachusetts that could end up with one to three inches of rain. It is a lot more rain even out west when you've got that atmospheric river series of storms that's going to come through you could see two to up to four feet of snow in some of the higher elevations up to 20 inches in colorado just friday night into saturday david ginger z with us ginger thank you now to the alarming new headline tonight about those popular home security systems and that one particular company and what appears to be a growing concern customers in several states now reporting hackers accessing their home surveillance cameras and tonight among the cases a little girl who suddenly hears a stranger's voice coming to her in her bedroom. Here's Steve Osinsami. The LeMay family in suburban Memphis has disconnected their ring security camera and they're sharing this recording tonight as a warning. Who is that? I'm your best friend. I'm Santa Claus. This is video from the camera they bought on sale after Thanksgiving and installed in their eight-year-old's bedroom. And the voice you hear coming from the camera speaker is an internet hacker who is teasing the child and trying to get her to repeat racial slurs. I can't hear you. You're a Go tell mommy you're a Figured out it's not daddy. That's what freaked me out because I didn't even know who it was. She was, um, you know, terrorized by somebody through this camera and, I mean, they, they didn't stop. The makers of the camera have now had several of these incidents to explain, including this one in Cape Coral, Florida on Sunday night. Wait, wait, so did your child come out black or like kind of like light skin? What? Where a racist computer hacker took control of the family's living room camera. Ring confirms these incidents, but insists the problem isn't with their systems, but with customers using weak usernames and passwords that are rarely changed. David. All right, good advice, Steve. Thank you. There is still much more ahead on World News tonight this Thursday. Your money, last minute shopping, of course. And here's the question Are you leaving free cash at the counter? Uh, some very easy tips tonight to get cash back. Also ahead, the driver trapped in an icy river, unable to find his phone. Still, he said, Hey Siri. And what he said next, it actually worked. It saved his life. Also, news tonight about the desperate search for a missing hiker. Why rescuers have repeatedly had to stop looking what's stopped them. We'll have more on that. And Made in America is back tonight. We want your one thing for Christmas this year made here. And look at this operation underway. What's behind this? It could be in your living room tonight. A lot more news ahead. This piece is talking to me. Yeah? So what do you see? I see an unbelievable opportunity. I see best-in-class platforms in education. I see award-winning service and a trade desk full of experts available to answer your toughest questions. And I see it with zero commissions on online trades. I like what you're seeing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. TD Ameritrade now offers zero commissions on online trades. Do you have concerns about mild memory loss related to aging? Prevagen is the number one pharmacist recommended memory support brand. You can find it in the vitamin aisle in stores everywhere. Prevagen, healthier brain, better life. 
Buying a car from Vroom is so easy, all you need is a phone and a finger. Just scroll through amazing hand-picked low-mileage cars and tap to buy. <laughs> Thousands of cars priced below market value. Go to Vroom.com and pick your favorite. Oh, no. A cougher. Welcome to flu season, Karen. <coughs> Is a regular flu shot strong enough to help prevent flu in someone your age? There are standard dose flu shots, and then there's the superior flu protection of Fluzone High Dose. It's the only 65-plus flu shot with four times the standard dose, and it's free with Medicare Part B. Fluzone High Dose is not for those who've had a severe allergic reaction to any vaccine component, including eggs, egg products, or after a previous dose of any flu vaccine. Tell your healthcare professional if you've ever experienced severe muscle weakness after receiving a flu shot. If you notice other problems or symptoms following vaccination, contact your healthcare professional immediately. Side effects include pain, swelling, and redness where the shot was given. Other side effects may occur. Vaccination may not protect everyone. If you're 65 plus, don't settle for a standard dose flu shot. Influenza going down. Move up to Flu Zone High Dose. See your doctor or pharmacist and ask for it by name. Your money tonight and under two weeks to go until Christmas. And this evening, tips to get cash back. Points and miles, too. ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, out to save your money. Tonight, with the average American expected to shell out $825 on gifts this holiday, experts recommend using one of the 50 sites and apps from Rakuten to Ibotta to Retail Me Not that pay you every time you shop so you can give yourself a cash back Christmas. If you don't start at one of these sites, you are literally leaving money or points and miles on the table. At Rakuten, for example, create a profile, search your favorite retailers, activate their offer, and start shopping. Just through one, pro uh, one program, I've saved over $200. Retailers pay different amounts depending on which portal you use. With website cashbackmonitor.com, you can track and compare the different deals. The retailer gets additional business. The portal gets a little cut of the money that you spent. And David, one caution. The whole idea here is to save money. Don't let these incentives entice you into buying what you don't need or spending money you don't have. David? Always good advice, Rebecca. Thank you. When we come back, that accident and the driver who couldn't find his phone, but what he thought of, it saved his life and could help others. And the new tribute tonight to Peter Jennings. Needles, essential for the sea urchin, but maybe not for people with rheumatoid arthritis, because there are options, like an injection. Zelgen's XR, a once daily pill for adults with moderate to severe RA for whom methotrexate did not work well enough. Zelgen's XR can reduce pain, swelling, and further joint damage, even without methotrexate. Zelgen's can lower your ability to fight infections like TB. Don't start Zelgen's if you have an infection. Taking a higher than recommended dose of Zelgen's for RA can increase risk of death, serious, sometimes fatal infections, cancers, including lymphoma, and blood clots have happened, as have tears in the stomach or intestines, serious allergic reactions, and changes in lab results. Tell your doctor if you've been somewhere fungal infections are common, or if you've had TB, hepatitis B or C, or are prone to infections. Needles, fine for some, but for you, one pill a day may provide symptom relief. Ask your doctor about Zelgen's XR, an injection. Heading into retirement, you want to follow your passions. Bright House Smart Care is a hybrid life insurance and long-term care product. It protects your family while providing long-term care coverage should you need it. Talk to your advisor, Bright House Financial. Build for what's ahead. You buy them, you love them, you'd hate to see them fade. With OxyClean Dark Protect Laundry Booster, now you can help keep your favorite darks dark. Wash after wash. OxyClean Dark Protect. Work your magic. <laughs> I'm your 70 pound St. Bernard puppy. And my lack of impulse control is about to become your problem. Oh, no, come on. I saw you eating poop earlier. Hey! My focus is on the road, and that's saving me cash with DriveWise. Who's the dummy now? Forget Allstate. We're good drivers save 40% for avoiding mayhem, like me. Sorry! He's a baby! The ups and downs of frequent mood swings can plunge you into deep, depressive lows. Take you to uncontrollable highs or make you feel both at once. Overwhelmed by bipolar one symptoms? Ask about Freylar. 
some medications only treat the lows or the highs. Vralar effectively treats depression, acute manic, and mixed episodes of bipolar 1. Full spectrum relief of all symptoms with just one pill once a day. Elderly patients with dementia-related psychosis have an increased risk of death or stroke. Call your doctor about unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, which may mean a life-threatening reaction. Or uncontrollable muscle movements may be permanent. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. Metabolic changes may occur. Movement dysfunction, restlessness, sleepiness, stomach issues are common side effects. When Bipolar 1 overwhelms, Fralar helps smooth the ups and downs. To the index of other news, the desperate search for a missing hiker near Los Angeles tonight, Sri Mokapati disappearing while hiking with a group on Sunday. Search teams have been diverted several times this week, though, to rescue other hikers. Parts of Mount Baldy now closed during the search. Well, Siri to the rescue in Charles City, Iowa, a driver losing control of his Jeep on an icy road plunging into a river. He couldn't find his phone, but he thought to yell for Siri, which was smart. I won't say what he said next because then all of your phones will dial too. But it's something to think about if you're ever in need of help. Firefighters arriving a short time later to pull him out of the water. And a new tribute tonight to the late Peter Jennings. Canada's National Arts Centre commissioning a new orchestral piece from composer Philip Glass in honour of Peter, who was born in Canada. Of course, we remember when Peter became a U.S. citizen and, of course, that copy of the Constitution he carried. The new piece will be an ode to freedom of the press, honouring his legacy. When we come back here tonight, Made in America is back. We want your one thing made in America this year, and perhaps the most obvious choice is next. Here's to you. The tradition keepers. The celebration starters. The finders of one-of-a-kind belongings. Made and sold by real people that reflect who we are. Here's to you, the givers. ShopEtsy.com. Free shipping on millions of items. Sheldon, good to see you. I can see you're upset, but when we said ditch the shells, we were talking about pistachios, not you. Oh, you mean these pistachios? Oh, oh no, you look upset. You okay, John? Can we get some arugula, please? <laughs> Skip to the good part with Alka-Seltzer Plus, now with 25% more concentrated power. Nothing works faster for powerful cold relief. Oh, what a relief it is. So fast. This is Hal. This is Hal's heart. It's been broken and put back together. This is also Hal's heart. And this is Hal's relief, knowing he's covered. This is Hal's heart, and it's beating better than ever. This is what Medicare from Blue Cross Blue Shield does for Hal. And with easy access to quality health care, imagine what we can do for you. This is the benefit of Blue. Mike Bloomberg's never been afraid of tough fights, the ones that make a true difference in people's lives. And Mike's won them, which is important right this minute, because if you can beat America's biggest gun lobby, helping pass background check laws and defeat NRA-backed politicians across this country, beat big coal, helping shut down hundreds of polluting plants, and beat big tobacco, helping pass laws to save the next generation from addiction, all against big odds, you can beat him. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now there's Sky Rizzy. Things are getting clearer. Yeah, I feel free. Spare my skin. Yeah, that's all me. Nothing in me go hand in hand. Nothing on my skin. That's my new plan. Nothing is everything. Keep your skin clearer with Sky Rizzy. Three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. Of those, nearly nine out of ten sustained it through one year. And Sky Rizzy is four doses a year after two starter doses. I see nothing in a different way. And it's my moment, so I just gotta say. Is Sky Rizzy may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Before treatment, your doctor should check you for infections and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fevers, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or coughs, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. dermatologist about Sky Rizzi. 
American bakers in a faraway land. With Hope's Poor Hollywood. That's me. Would soon shake their hand. The action, the drama, cakes, breadsticks <laughs> and pie. All bets are off when the stakes are this high. Don't miss The Great American Baking Show. Tonight at 9 on ABC. Friday tonight here, Made in America Christmas is back, and every year we want to know your one thing. And tonight we start with perhaps the most obvious, the one thing growing for years. It's for years now, Made in America Christmas and your one thing. And one of the most obvious buys, the Christmas tree. Hi, Merry Christmas. We wanted to know where in America are these trees from? North Carolina, Pennsylvania. Music to our ears. And from one side of the country to the other, we are celebrating the tree farms tonight. This one in Corvallis, Oregon, Holiday Tree Farms. The Schutel family since 1955. Hal Schutel there on the right and his sons Dave and Steve. They started young. His son John, too, on the right. And what goes into it all? There's a little bit of horticulture, a little bit of agriculture, and a, and a little bit of magic. We love some Christmas magic. Scott is the nursery manager. He's already thinking about Christmases to come. So this is what we're growing. Each one of these was handled by hand by hundreds of people over the course of about 10 years. A full decade or more before your living room, and Scott's happy just under two weeks to go. <laughs> of course it's my favorite time of year, it's Christmas. All those seedlings end up in the fields. John Schutel, one of those sons, still cutting them down by hand. Today, we are shipping approximately one million trees per year.